anti-Sharia legislation is spreading in state legislatures across the U.S., as Donald Trump's hostile stance towards Muslims appears to be emboldening right-wing Islamophobes. In 2017 there were 23 new bills introduced in 18 states attempting to prohibit the practice of Islamic religious law, or Sharia, in U.S. courts. The rash of new bills brings the total number of such legislative efforts since 2010 to 217 in 43 states, according to the Haas Institute at UC Berkeley which monitors the anti-Sharia movement. Legal experts point out that the bills are superfluous, as the U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land and any foreign laws are subservient to it. Sharia itself is less a set of laws than religious guidelines, one of which requires Muslims to be law-abiding according to the rules of whichever country they find themselves. But El Sadig El Sheikh, director of the Global Justice Program at the Haas Institute that carried out the research, said the purpose of the bills was to spread fear about Muslims living in America and to portray them as untrustworthy and out of step with American values. Even if these bills do not become law they help to subject Muslims to surveillance and other forms of exclusion and discrimination, he said. Of the 23 bills introduced to state legislatures this year, only two became law in Arkansas and Texas. Four new states joined the growing list of legislatures where anti-Sharia legislation has been attempted, Colorado, Connecticut, North Dakota, and Wisconsin. All but one of the bills were introduced by Republicans. The exception was in Idaho where a committee with an unknown party affiliation was behind the move. Heidi Bayrish, an expert on anti-Muslim hate groups at the Southern Poverty Law Center, sees the rash of state bills as signs that the provocative language coming out of Trump's circle is having an impact. At the state level, the number one push for anti-Muslim activists is anti-Sharia bills. It's a recurrent effort. Trump himself called for all Muslims to be barred from entering the U.S. when he was a presidential candidate, a sentiment that he has only barely tempered in his drive for a travel ban on several majority Muslim countries. Several of the individuals he chose as key advisors also have a controversial track record. Steve Bannon, Trump's former chief strategist in the White House, once wrote a film script that warned of the country turning into the Islamic States of America. The short-lived national security adviser Michael Flynn called Islamism a vicious cancer inside all Muslims that has to be excised, while former White House aide Sebastian Gorka was once fired by the FBI as a counterterrorism lecturer for his Islamophobic views. Charles Turner, who is researching a doctoral thesis on anti-Muslim legislation at the University of Utah, said that the plethora of bills had been enabled by Trump and his close team. This is an expression of right-wing republicanism that chimes with their populist base. The anti-Sharia movement became a force in the U.S. after 2010 in the wake of the furor over the plan to open a Muslim community center in downtown Manhattan. Islamophobes led by Pamela Geller dubbed it the Ground Zero Mosque and said it was a beachhead for Islamic supremacism.